to receive for Memphis State is number one, William Arnold. Then about five yards ahead of him along the five is number 28, Larry Porter. And also number nine, Russell Jones. Those three guys back. Max Smith kicks off. It's a low line drive and we're underway in the 90s. Porter bobbles the ball to 12, picks it up to the 15 from Memphis State to the 20, eludes two tacklers and dives to the 23. And the tackle's going to be made by number 52, Gary Abide for Ole Miss, a sophomore from Greenville. And Lyman, the Tigers have it just outside the 20 to 23 yard line, first and 10. Well, we've heard a lot about this run and shoot offense that Memphis State likes to run. And uh, let's see what the Rebel game plan is defensively. 11 yard return on the kickoff for Memphis State. Tigers at their own 23, dead center of the field. Receiver wide left, one wide right, eye in the backfield. Your quarterback is Keith Benton. The Rebels have a five-man front defensively. Look at the defensive starters here in a moment. Arnold's in motion toward the line from this side. The pitch is around the left side of Porter. He's gobbled up and stopped at the 25. And coming up is number 38, Chris Mitchell, to make the tackle the senior from Town Creek, Alabama, and Hazelwood. Interesting story. The reason he's wearing Chucky's number 38 is he won the best defensive back award in spring practice, and that's going to continue as long as the Rebel program is around. And Coach Brewer wants number 38 always on the field. A two-yard gain for the Tigers. Second down and eight from the 25. Near hash this time with the eye in the backfield. Bosby and Porter are the backs. Now in motion is John Bush. Benton fakes the give, rolls right, fires far side, got a man completed to 28, and then pushed out of bounds by Danny Boyd. Bush made the catch when he turned. He was in the arms of Danny Boyd, the left cornerback, sophomore from Pompano Beach, Florida, and Lyman. He just shoved him out at the 28. It'll bring up a third down. Well, he wanted to put a little move on him because he had single coverage over on that side that was helped deep, but uh, it, was, uh, it was Danny Boyd, the corner on that side, that came up and did an excellent job not letting him spin away from him and getting him out of bounds. Only a three-yard gain, so third down coming up for Memphis State. Third down and five from the 28-yard line. Tyrone Ashley is now in the game defensively for the Rebels at free safety. There's the toss around the right side, tackled and dropped at the 30. Short of the line of scrimmage is Larry Porter, Jeff Carter, up to make the tackle. And let's go down to Stan. Well, it's no doubt that the Ole Miss defense has pumped up a lot of veterans back. Jeff Carter came up and made a tackle around the ankles that stopped him for no gain, and Memphis State will have to give up the football in their first offensive possession. Fourth down after the two-yard gain, left-footed kicker, fight, booms one deep. Sandroni is deep to receive at the 20. He's got it, comes to the near side. The 25 lowers his head, dropped at the 26 or 27, will wait on the spot, but fight the left-footed punter for Memphis State, who is a good one. He's from Memphis Briarcrest. Boomed one, 53 yards is what we have unofficially up here. Bobby Avery and Steve Smith making the tackles for Memphis State. They spotted uh, at the 26-yard line, first and 10 for the Rebels. First offensive possession for Ole Miss. At the near hash, I formation. It's thick pin and Baldwin. Russ Shows, your quarterback. Holder wide right. And wide left is Vincent Brownlee. There's the toss to Baldwin. Baldwin sweeping left. In trouble, hit at the 24, pushed out of bounds. Memphis State, excellent pursuit. They strung it out, and now a speaker over there from the Rebel cheerleaders falls on top of the players that slide in. Everybody appears to be okay, but it got a little hectic off the sidelines. Kenny Duffy made the tackle, Lyman, but Memphis State did a good job of what coaches call stringing it out. That's right, the sidelines kept coming to him, and he could not turn the corner, and he goes out of bounds, loss of about three yards on the play. Yeah, they're going to put him back. Said he went out at the 24. So a two-yard loss, we'll call it officially, second down and 12 from the 24-yard line. Split backfield slot right. It's a long 12. From the far hash, Shouse rolls out right, looks downfield. He's trying to find somebody, fires. It's caught, but out of bounds by the Rebels on an out route. Reginald Jones was covering Ole Miss's Vincent Brownlee. Brownlee, the new flanker, the Juco transfer, went up in the air, made the catch, but he ran out of real estate and did not come down in bounds. So there's the first pass of the season for 
the Rebels, and Brownlee with a great acrobatic catch, but he couldn't get that foot down. Well, I tell you, I like this youngster. He sure knows how to catch a football. Third down and 12 from the 24. Brownlee comes wide right, holder wide left. Split backfield, ball one in thick pit. Chows takes the snap, back to throw again. In the pocket, has lots of time, lots of time. Fires the holder, complete at the 36, 37 yard line. It's gonna be close to the first down. We'll wait on the spot as he dove for the stick. Glenn Rogers Jr., the right cornerback, a senior from Memphis, made the stop for the Tigers, and it's a first down. Let's go down to Sandroni. Stan? Well, you know, Jeffrey Holder has locked in the said that he's not as fast as Willie Green or Pat Coleman, no doubt about that, but he's got some sure hands. I think Lyman will attest to that. Made a great route, and the offensive line gave Russ plenty of time. About and a 13-yard gain to the 37. He knew exactly where to go for that first down. Well, one of the few with any experience in the receiving court. Ball went up the middle. He's got a hold of the 40, to the 45, to the 46, and dropped right there. Randy Bowen close to another first down. On a tackle, linebacker, reserve man, a freshman from Niceville, Florida, number 59, Danton Bartow for Memphis State. I just kind of got an idea that uh, Holder's role on this football team this year is going to is going to be possession type of, uh, of football. Great hands. Yeah. He's got excellent hands. Gain of nine, second down and one for the Rebels from their own 46-yard line. Eye formation for Ole Miss. And, oh, one of the defensive men from Memphis State came rushing through. There's a pitch on the ground. Doesn't matter. Flags everyone. Now a fight. A little pushing and shoving between one of the defenders of Memphis State, number 97, Jeff Sawyer, and one of the Rebels, I believe, Adrian Struther down there. Let's go down to Stan, getting a little vicious. Yeah, getting a little vicious. Pre-game uh, festivities carrying over onto the field. The guy that jumped offside for Memphis State was Bobby Avery, uh, the sophomore out of Gaston, Alabama, that uh, caught him offside. The Rebels will take the five-yard penalty. I was about to say before that last play to uh, Randy Baldwin, and Memphis State, obviously, their defensive game plan is to not let Ole Miss get to the flanks. I think we saw that on the first couple of plays, but something quick up the middle to thick pin and ball and might spring it open, and Brandon just almost broke that one a few moments ago. So the Rebels get the first down by way of penalty across Memphis State, uh, into Memphis State territory at the 48 now. The first and 10 is Ole Miss. High formation for the Rebels. Gives straight up the middle, thick pin, spins, dives inside the 45 to the 44. And we'll wait on the spot, but Stan, that's the man you like to call the diesel. Nice run by uh, Thigpen, Fredette, and Jordan on the tackle for Memphis State. Yeah, he got the last two yards running backwards. He was getting stretching out everything that he could to gain yardage, and he got about two extra ones that I didn't think he should have gotten. Derek Owens and John Moore are in the receivers now for Ole Miss. That was a four-yard gain, second and six from the 44 of Memphis State. Out route, pass, high, incomplete intended for John Moore. He was down and out at the 35 of the Tigers, but Russ Shaw's pass was high. So we'll bring up a third down and six for Ole Miss. Defensively for Memphis State, they went with Bobby Avery, a sophomore from Gaston, Alabama, left in. Left tackle is a Northwest Junior College transfer, number 55, Lish Trice out of Henderson, Tennessee. The nose guard, Chris Hobbs, a sophomore from Miami, Florida. And the right tackle is Nyrone Hawkins out of Montgomery, Alabama. The right end, Jeff Sawyer from Mobile, Alabama, sophomore. We'll look at the defensive backfield a little bit later. There's the give to ball and nothing doing as he gets to about the 42-yard line. And Lish Trice comes up and makes the tackle for Memphis State. They say his knee went down at the 43. So the Rebels will get only one yard out of that and will bring up a fourth down and five for Ole Miss from the Memphis State 43-yard line. And the Rebels will punt. Back to receive for Memphis State is Glenn Rogers, Jr., the senior out of Memphis, and punting for the Rebels is Charles Childers, one of the top returning punters in the Southeastern Conference. Charles out of Ripley, Mississippi. Now we have time on the field. They wanted a, a new football. The lights are on here at Vaughn Hemingway Stadium. The first official night game, no score with 10.40 to go in the first quarter. No score between the two clubs. Both teams apparently have failed on their opening drives, although the Rebels gained a little bit more yards and field position. Off the side of the foot from Childers. It's going to hit at the 18. Take a Rebel roll to the 10, to the 5, to the 4, and be down just inside the 5, between the 4 and the 5-yard line as Childers got a break as that ball just tight rope, looked like it was tiptoeing down the sidelines. Yeah, he got a little left-hand spin on that ball, and the ball stayed inbound. Looked like it's going to go out up around the 18 or 20-yard line, but it came back into the field to play and uh, rolled all the way down to the five. Well, they're spotted between the four to five. Let's call it the five-yard line. 39-yard punt. 
for Charles Childers. And excellent job by the Rebels of downing the ball. Near hash mark, just short of the five. I formation, Benton the quarterback from Memphis State. There's a give, right side, diving to the seven is Leon Bosby, the 6'1", 224-pound sophomore from Fairhope, Alabama for the Tigers. He'll gain a couple. It'll make it second down and eight. Doug Jacobs made the tackle for Ole Miss. Rebel defense has the outside linebacker, the starters for the game, were Philip Kent, the 6'2", 235-pound junior from Jackson's Madison Ridgeland. The left end, Doug Jacobs from Oxville, North Carolina, senior, 6'8", 280. Nose guard, Jim Lentz, number 75, 6'3", 264-pound junior from Flemington, New Jersey. Get the rest of the moment, second and eight from the seven. Benton on the option to the right. Still has the ball. Still short of the line of scrimmage. Now cuts it up. He's to the 10. Pulled down at about the 13-yard line. And a nice run by Benton because the Rebels had a couple of guys there. Kelvin Pritchett and Reggie Parrott both were there. They let him get away. Jeff Carter had to come up and make the tackle from his uh, free safety spot. Roger Hancock is a starting outside linebacker on the other side for the Rebels. The senior from Bentonia, Mississippi, is 6'3", 220. The two inside linebackers are Reggie Parrott and Gary Abide right now. Sean Cobb and Pete Harris started the game. Chauncey Godwin, Danny Boyd, Chris Mitchell, and Jeff Carter make up the rest of the starters in the backfield, but they've already used a lot of substitutions. Eye formation for Memphis State, third down and two. After the six-yard gain by Benton. Benton from the far hash looks at a five-man front. Fumble! Loose on the ground. The Rebels say they have it. No, quickly. The men in the striped shirt say it belongs to Memphis State. Bad snap, Lyman. Well, it looked like the quarterback really just pulled away from the line of, of scrimmage just a little bit too quick because he was moving away and then he said, uh-oh, where's the ball? Fourth down, though, it was a bad time to have the fumble snap. Memphis State rushes its punt team out in a hurry. The Rebels trying to hurry to get the receive team out. There's the snap. They could have technically thrown a flag, and I think they will. Now the ref is running in and waving his arms. Uh, Brownlee's in the backfield. The other refs didn't realize they've stopped the play. Fumble, Memphis State recovers. Forget it, guys. Down here on the other end, the men in the striped shirts are saying, uh-uh. So we've got massive confusion. Your referee is Jimmy Harper out of Atlanta, Georgia. Umpires, Rusty Spindle of Kenner, Louisiana. Linesman is James L. Wilson from Dallas, Texas. Line judge William Hunter from Huntington, West Virginia. Field judge is Mike Looney from Mobile, Alabama. Sign judge is Bob Lee of Oxford, Alabama. Back judge is George L. Ranger of Meridian, Mississippi. And they're all having a big conference, and Lyman it appears they're going to do it over. Memphis State head coach Chuck Stobart is furious. Well, I, I was under the impression that the Rebels had too many men on the field. I don't know if that's well, what it was Well, they did in the exchange. Let's go down to Stan. Well, the situation, the referee uh, with the white hat on, Mr. Harper blew the whistle, which meant, meant the play was dead. Ole Miss was still shuttling some players on, had some off. Memphis State wasn't quite set either, and they still had a few moving around, so they're going to just negate the whole play and do it over, much to the dismay of the Memphis State fans. And they got about maybe five or 6,000 here. Well, they did that the first time they punted. Yeah. Ole Miss was able to make the exchange. Again, they did it, and the Rebels still a little bit slow getting off. They're going to have to be quicker. Well, they're going to have to have a team ready to get out on the field as soon as it's determined, uh, you know, whether it's first down or whether it's a punt, whatever the situation may be. Well, Fight is in punt formation again, standing in his own end zone. The ball is at the 13-yard line, fourth down and one. Vincent Brownlee is deep to receive, standing on the Rebel 43. Waiting for the snap. 8.16 to go in the first quarter. No score between Ole Miss and Memphis State. Fight has hit another bomb. Nice, high, arching punt that noses down at the 39-yard uh, line. Brownlee calls the fair catch there, and the Rebels will have it first down and 10, a 48-yard punt for Fight. Boy, when you got a weapon like that, it can help you get out of some trouble, and that's exactly what Mr. Fight did for the Memphis State Tigers. Charles Childers of Ole Miss has already shown that he can help you back somebody up, too. Oh, that's for sure. The kicking game is such a very, very important part of the game. But the Rebels have got real good field position out at their own 39-yard line. Defensive back starters from Memphis State, Reginald Jones, Mike Davis, Scott Rumley, Kenny Duffy, Jeremy Williams, and Glenn Rogers, Jr., all in there right now. Jim Earl Thomas is in the backfield with Ed Thigpen. Back to throw is Shouse. Far side, got Brownlee. Did he hold on? Yes or no? They said yes. He made the catch at the Memphis State 38. A diving catch on an out route by Vincent Brownlee. That's one of the new junior college receivers. I'm going to tell you, the boy can catch the football. What a great catch right off the grass. 23 yards for a first down. Shouse pumped once long, then looked to the Memphis State sidelines as Brownlee was down and out on the left side. He dove for it. I mean, caught it right off yeah. the top of the grass. Stand, that must have been pretty. 
Well, that's the kind that uh, it was a good pass because either Bradley was going to catch it or nobody, and he made a great catch, and it's got to give him a lot of confidence. Good coverage by Memphis State. Only place Russ Shows could put it. Ball went back in the backfield with Jim Earl Thomas. There's a snap. It's Randy Ball. And, oh, he's hit immediately. Dropped at the 39. Coming up is Lish Trice. Trice is from Henderson, Tennessee. I had a chance to see this youngster play at Northwest Community College uh, where he transferred from Senatobia to Memphis State. Did not start last week. Had a great game and drew a start this week. So Stan Sandroni said that's the third tackle he's made behind the line of scrimmage or at the line of scrimmage. From the 39, it'll be second down as a one-yard loss. So second down and 11. Split backfield with Baldwin and Thomas back to throw. Shows fires over the middle, incomplete intended for the tight end. A close play there as it was intended for Camp Roberts. Jeremy Williams dove for the ball. Looked like he might have got Roberts over the back, but they didn't make the call. Williams is the freshman, true freshman, playing at free safety. He's from Columbus, Georgia. Made a good play if he didn't make contact. That's right. Well, it's uh, it's a gambling type play, but he, he looked to me like he got around the player and, and got his hand in front of it and knocked the ball down. Camp Roberts, who's backing up Dan Westmoreland, was in the game, just ran right straight down the field. Third down and 11 for the Memphis State 39. No score. 6.56 to go in the first quarter. Shouts back to throw. Fires long. It is intercepted by Memphis State at the 22-yard line. And pulling it down for the Tigers is Glenn Rogers, Jr., the senior from Memphis, Tennessee, South Side High School, as he stepped in front of the underthrown pass and intercepted it at the 22. Memphis State will have it first step. Well, there was another gambling-type pass uh, protection, uh, pass defensive play by Memphis State. It turns into an interception, but if he don't really stretch out and catch that, it's a touchdown. First and 10 for the Tigers from the 22. 6.51 to go in the first quarter. Ole Miss nothing, Memphis State nothing here in Oxford. Give us off the right side. On the carry is Bosby across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Nice run, a gain of about five. We'll wait on the official spot. Pete Harris, the inside linebacker out of Homestead, Florida, and Kelvin Pritchett, the right end, the senior from Atlanta, Georgia on the stop for Ole Miss. Gain of five, second and five for the Memphis State 27. Tigers break huddle, far hash mark, eye in the backfield. Receivers wide left and right in motion this way. Now is John Bush. Benton takes a snap, gives the second man straight ahead to the 30. Again, a nice room uh, up the middle for the Tigers. They're winning the battle on the line, at least on those two plays. Larry Porter, the true freshman from Columbus, Georgia, gets it to the 30, Kelvin Pritchett on the stop for Ole Miss. It'll be a gain of three, and it'll bring up third down and two. Well, Memphis State's coming off the ball very well. At least they did on that one. They just simply drove forward, and the back followed the line surge and got what yardage he did get. Eye formation again for the Tigers. Benton sends a man in motion on third down and two from the Memphis State 30. There's a snap, fake the fullback. No, he gives to the fullback. Hit at the 30 and driven back by a host of Rebels. It was Leon Bosby who kept the give and was stacked up. Getting there was Philip Kent, the outside linebacker, and Tony Hervey, I believe, was in there, Stan. Tony Hervey? Tony Hervey, all 6'5", 295 pounds. Been a lot said about him, whether or not he was ready to play or not, but the big guys in there plugged up the hole along with Philip Kent. Junior from Eupora, Mississippi. So fourth down and one, they gave him a yard gain. Fights to punt again, a nice high kick, not quite as deep. Brownlee calls for the fair catch and takes it at the 32 of Ole Miss. And we got a ping pong match, guys. No score, back and forth and back and forth. Punt, punt, punt. Zip, zip with 5.05 to go here in the first quarter. I tell you, I had the glasses on Brownlee then as he received the punt. And the guy's got some of the softest hand you ever saw. He cradled it in there. And that's the kind of guy you like to have back there handling the football. 37-yard punt for Jeff Fight of Memphis State. The Rebels will have the ball at the far hash mark. John Moore is in, the wide receiver on the right side out of Jackson, Mississippi. Derek Owens, junior from Tallahassee, Florida, is wide left. Draw play, thick pin, straight ahead of the 35, knocked down at the 38-yard line. And will be a gain of five, it appears, and second down and five. Cliff Dew is the new center in right now. Offensively, a few changes. You have Clint Conley, a backup right tackle out of Ripley, Mississippi. David Herring is the backup right guard in there right now, junior from Martin, Georgia. Cliff Dew is the center. Junior from Vicksburg. The freshman from Clinton, Joel Jordan, is at left guard. And the freshman from Bidfield is at left tackle. The number two line is in for the Rebels. Boy, is it nice to be able to run two in there. 
Eye formation slot right for Ole Miss. Far hash marks second and five. Pitch left side. Marks. Rishaw fumble. Picked up by Memphis State. It's going to be down where it was picked up. It was across the 35 to the 36. Maurice Shaw's first carry, the junior from Tullahoma, Tennessee, was in. He was hit, the ball popped loose. Jeremy Williams picked it up for Memphis State. They'll bring it back to the spot that he picked it up. It was in the neutral zone. You can't advance it in the neutral zone. I think he actually fumbled the ball behind the line of scrimmage and it rolled forward. Uh, so it will belong to Memphis State, a turnover, and that's the second one of the night for the Rebels, an interception and now a fumble. Let's see where they spot it, inside the 39. We'll call it the 38-yard line. So Memphis State with a break. Ball will be at the far hash. Hervey is checking out right now for Rebels. On the defensive side, five-man front for Ole Miss. I formation. Benton has a man in motion this way. Receiver wide left. Benton gives right side Porter. Porter following a blocker. Gives to the 35, is hit and upended there and dropped. He'll have four yards there. Dwayne Amos, the left cornerback, sophomore from Jackson Provine, up to make the tackle. Why well, he's a good looking back. This kid uh, is a, a player that they didn't think could get into college. He qualified. Memphis State gave him their last scholarship. Unbelievable, because he had a 206 yard game last week against Arkansas State. He can play. Larry Porter, freshman, true freshman from Columbus, Georgia. Second down and six from the Ole Miss 35. Memphis State trying to take advantage of a Rebel fumble. Over the middle, man wide open, caught at the 15, 10, 5. Drop at the one-yard line is John Bush, the sophomore from Jacksonville, Florida. And boy, he caught the, the uh, defensive backfield either in the wrong coverage or losing a man. Dwayne Amos recovered and made the tackle at the two. It's a 30. Two-yard, 33-yard reception for Memphis State to the two. Let's go down to stand. No doubt, blown coverage right there. The guy was wide open over the middle. Memphis State, I'm, I tell you, I'm impressed with the speed of this ball club so far. 3.24 to go in the quarter. Memphis State has first and goal at the two. No score in the game. Far hash, eye formation. Second man, Porter, goes airborne. He's at the goal line. Did he get in? They say no. He stopped short. He tried to go over the top lineman, and the Rebels did a good job of pushing him back. He gets a yard. It'll be second and goal from the one. That's right. They met him right in midair, and, that, of course, that's what you got to do. you gotta, you got to get up there and meet them. Otherwise, if they fall over the line of scrimmage, they're in the end zone. Sean Cobb, senior from Jackson, Tennessee, who was a leading tackler on the Rebel team last year, and Chris Mitchell, strong safety to make the stop. Second and goal from the one. High formation for Memphis State. Slot to the right. Far hash again. Rebel defense is in tight. There's a snap to give to Porter. He's hit once, twice, close to the goal line. He got in. Touchdown. The Rebels hit him two or three times short of the line, but he spun and fell into the end zone for the touchdown. Memphis State takes the lead six to nothing with 2.33 to go, and it was set up by that 33-yard pass. And, of course, the start of the drive was a costly fumble. Well, turnovers will kill you. And, and like we said, the Rebels have got to get all of this out of their system. And it's, uh, it is tough to get behind from a fired up bunch of Memphis State Tigers, but that's exactly where the Rebels find themselves right now. Well, they went 38 yards to score. Joe Allison will attempt the point after for Memphis State. It is good. Seven to nothing, Memphis State with 2.33 to go in the first quarter. We'll be back after we hear on the network from State Farm and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Kick off for Memphis State. Ashley and Brownlee deep to receive. It's a line drive kick. 
that Ashley takes at the two-yard line. Tyrone to the 10, heading to the far side, 15, 20. Got some room to the 30 and tripped up at the 32. There's a little opening over there. Memphis State recovered well, though. Making the tackle was Sid Smith, number 13, and Dominic Callaway came in to help out. Callaway is a freshman from Anniston, Alabama. Smith from Bountiful, Utah, a JUCO transfer. But Ashley looked like Lyman was about a step away from going. We rise. Uh, Brownlee gave him a good block back down around the 10-yard line, too, to help spring him out to uh, out past the 30. Let's call it the 31-yard line. Memphis State with 38 yards to score a moment ago. Larry Porter with his fourth touchdown of the season. The true freshman had three last week against Arkansas State in the 24-24 tie for Memphis State. Rebels down by seven at their own 31 is where the ball is spotted. Chow's back to throw, lots of time, fires near side. It's Jamie, uh, Jeffrey Holder, I said Jamie. Jeffrey Holder sliding on the turf, makes the catch off the top of the ground at the 39. What a catch. Glenn Rogers Jr. was covering. <laughs> Nothing you can do there but just watch the guy. Oh uh, yeah, he's got he's got such great hands. He looks the ball right in, and uh, he's a possession type football player, receiver. An eight yard gain on the out pass. Second down and two. We've got a timeout. It appears there. There's official timeout. Official timeout. Two oh one to go in the first quarter. Memphis State leads Ole Miss seven to nothing. Opener for the Rebels. Game number two for Memphis State. Well, the Tigers took advantage of that fumble. Lyman, how many plays? I know you keep up with the 38 yards and four, four plays. plays pretty quick. One was yeah. that big pass over the middle. We right. had apparently lost coverage there. The number one offensive line is in. I can't imagine what the timeout is for unless there's something wrong with the clock. We show 2:01 uh, still to go in the in the first quarter. Shows is three of seven throwing. The sophomore quarterback has 44 yards and has thrown the one interception. Rebels have had two turnovers in the game. Slot left, eye formation near hash mark. Jim Earl Thomas in the backfield with Randy Baldwin. Now Baldwin comes down and splits the backs. Oh, right guard going early for the Rebels. Jumping off sides is Monty Perry, the senior from Bentonia. Went a little bit early. It'd be a five-yard penalty. So that hurts because second down and two now will become second down and seven. Well, it was going to be a running play because he was across the line of scrimmage. He was going to make his block. <laughs> yeah, he definitely had a jump on it. <laughs> he got there first. Second down from the 34 now. Second down and seven yards to go. Split backfield slot left from the near hash. Shouts back to throw. Heavy pressure in the middle of blitz. He's tackled and sacked back at the 20-yard line. And on the tackle, for Memphis State is number 47, Troy Thompson. Thompson is another junior college transfer. He is from Northwest Community College in Senatobia, Mississippi. He came racing through. He's 6'3", 265, a sec uh, senior out of Texarkana. It's a 12-yard loss to the 20. Mm. 